Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're doing a redo this year. So last year we showed you um, that we did use an oil-based mahogany type stain on our deck here. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to that video. When it first got done, I loved it. The water beaded off of it. It was beautiful. It showed the wood grain. I thought it was fantastic. But we are in Carolinas, hot, sun beats down. This deck takes a beating in the sun, and it, or at least it did. Now we got it covered, but the, really the stain just didn't hold up. So we used all that beautiful oil-based stain, thought it was gonna be fantastic, and it just didn't hold up. So um, we're going the other way. We're taking a different uh, approach to it. So this year, we are using deck over, advanced deck over, it's bare premium deck over. It is some thick, thick, thick stuff. It is basically covers, they say this covers 75 square feet, this. This chocolate milk look, or no, it's probably thicker than that. It's like, it's like pudding, right? Chocolate pudding. So basically that's what they say it covers. But the nice thing about it is it's supposed to cover, you know, if you have cracks and crevices and things like that, it's supposed to cover um, things, I think it said like up to a quarter of an inch uh, of, of whatever. So we're gonna give this a shot. Basically our goal is no maintenance, right? So that's what we're trying to do. We know that when we stay in the deck, we're gonna to have to do it every three years or something like that. But we didn't think we'd have to do it every year. And so that was the problem, we had to do it every year. So this, we hope, is gonna hold up a lot better. So the other thing we're looking for is durability. So we have a dog, she runs up and down the deck, she loves it up here. So she has claws and it showed scratch marks and stuff in that in, that in the wood. We're hoping that this will help a little bit with that because it is really thick and it's putting kind of like a hammer type coat on top of it. So we're gonna do the whole, base of the deck with this. Hope that it lasts longer. We'll show you it along the way. I don't think it's gonna cover very much because it is super, super thick. But uh, we're gonna to try to brush in between the cracks and then roll it on uh, and see how that works for us. So we'll take you along with us. So basically because this is super thick, what I've been doing is brushing in between the cracks like this all the way down the boards all the way down because I'm just trying to get a little bit more depth into the board so you can't see um, the old stain. So I go all the way down and it doesn't take super long except for it takes longer than just rolling it, that's for sure. It was actually quicker to roll the stain on because the stain kind of seeped its way down into there. But this doesn't, so you gotta keep going. And I usually do about four boards at a time because every two boards covers a roller. Like the roller's just wide enough to cover two boards. So that's what I've been doing, is just doing four boards all the way across, four boards all the way across, and keep going until I run out of steam for the day or it's done. Okay, so I'm about an hour and a half in. Um, you can see what I've gotten done here so far. Uh, this deck's about 16 by 20 long, something about that, 16 by 20 I think it is. Um, so it's a, it's a fairly good sized deck and I would say that I'm almost done with the top of the deck. I'd say another maybe 40 minutes. So probably two, two and a half hours. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that you got a brush in between. So this brushing in between to get a, a little bit more paint color down inside the, the grooves is what really takes the time from it. Um, the rolling is actually pretty quick and pretty easy. So, but it does take a little bit of time, but not any more than you would with stain. Um, the smell is obviously a lot better because I used oil-based stain last time. Um, so it doesn't smell near as bad, but at the same time, it is a little bit time consuming, but I'm, I'm pretty optimistic that this is gonna hold up really well, just based on how thick the paint is. Um, and really it's kind of a, a cheaper version, a, a cheaper thing to do because each gallon of this is about $37. Um, so, and it covers, they say it covers about 75 square feet. Um, that might be pretty, that might be generous per can. 
Um, so I don't think it quite covers that. But at the end of the day, um, it looks really nice, and I think it'll it'll make this look like a lot more finished and, uh, and polished, which is what the, the look we're going for. Okay, so I just wanted to clarify something I said at the beginning. This has actually been, this is year two. So it is understandable that you'd have to redo a deck every two years. This is the, my second year. I was happy with the, the, the first year. Um, this is the second year and we wanted to go a different direction. So we tried this out. We're gonna show you how it wears over time and we'll do the same thing. So this is something new. This is the deck over product right, by Bear. Uh, the advanced uh, solution for it. We put one coat on, it looks great. It looks like a brand new deck. It actually kind of looks like it's um, that Trek decking. So it fills a lot of the imperfections and cracks and blah, blah, blah. So it looks really, really good. So I'll let you know how it wears. But that's it. I'll put a link in the description below for the product uh, that we used for this, as well as a link to the other two um, videos that we did about the stain that we um, put on and then um, our update on that as well. Put a link in the description below. But that's it. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. and We'll see you next time. Thanks.